Hi, Alfonso. Hey, Lee, how are you? Oh, how are you doing good. Thank you for speaking with TeenInfinite.com today. Absolutely. Uh, what do you feel is going to set this game show apart from maybe other game shows? Well, I think that, you know, we, we've obviously spent, uh, at least for me, a lifetime of watching game shows. Um, and ultimately, it's all about the competition. But, you know, we've, we've watched these spelling bees forever. And, um, you know, the difference here is, is that it's still a spelling bee, but the distractions uh, really kind of set it apart. Um, it's really a comedy show, um, whereas most game shows is really simply about the game and how do you play it and who's going to win. All of that still exists, but with the, with the comedy aspect in terms of the distractions, the things that we're doing to these contestants are amazing. I mean, uh, we've got one game called Zapped where we put, you know, the dog collars that whenever a dog barks, uh, it kind of zaps them. Oh we put it around their ankles, and uh, we're able to control the voltage. And so as they're trying to spell these words, we're zapping them. And then we also have water that we're shooting in their face, and we've got a, a fire extinguisher going off on their back. And uh, we blew icy slushes dumped on their head, all while trying to spell, never knowing which one's coming next. Um, and the reactions of the contestants are priceless. And so for me, what I really find that's going to set it apart is, is, is the comedy of all of this. I mean, obviously, this is on ABC Family's Comedy Wednesdays, uh, following Melissa and Joey and Baby Daddy. And, and I think that, that the comedy aspect of this show is what's really going to drive people to the show and keep people coming back week after week. Uh, it is really, really funny. I mean, every episode uh, that we've shot is I'm laughing in the episode because I can't do anything other than laugh. I mean, it really is just that funny. I think that's what will set it apart. Uh, how do you go about preparing yourself to host such a show? Well, you, you know, you, you prepare yourself by, by listening. Um, you know, you, you ultimately learn how the games are played, what your part in driving the game, moving it along, keeping it moving, uh, but ultimately just being on, on your feet, thinking on your feet, ready for what's coming up. Um, you know, it's really a lot of ad lib. I mean, ultimately, you know, I, I bring us into the game, I take us out of the game, but in between, while the game is being played, I'm just ad-libbing with the contestants. Um, you know, I'm rooting for them. I'm laughing with them. I'm laughing at them. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's all kind of connected. And I just, you know, there, I don't think that there's really any preparation for this other uh, until you get in there and kind of see what it's going to be and you just go with your natural instincts. Um, and I think that's, what, that's basically what I did. I just kind of went with whatever I felt um, in each segment. And... Uh, you know, it feels like it really worked. So everybody associates you with Carlton Banks on Fresh Prince. Uh, how does it feel to be forever associated with that character? Um, well, I, it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. Um, you know, the the obviously the the uh, the fans who have adored me and loved me and 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 show me their love um, on a daily basis is uh, flattering um, to say the least, and it's certainly wonderful to know that. People have loved what I've done on that show um, for now uh, over two decades. But uh, but the curse part is, you know, when you're literally at a urinal in a, in a uh, public bathroom and people walk up to you, tap you on the shoulder, and ask you to do a dance for them, it's typically not a good time. <laughs> um, so uh, this happens to me often, uh, which which is the curse part. You know, it's I, I always say, you know, um, you're 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 asking me to dance for you. I'm I'm just I'm not going to just dance for everyone as they come up and ask me to dance. It's like that's not okay. But uh, at the same time, like I said, I take it in stride and I laugh with them about it because, uh, uh, you know, it, it certainly means that they've enjoyed what I've done, um, what I did on that show. Do you still stay in touch with the cast members from Fresh Prince? Absolutely. It's very funny because I keep hearing, you know, you'll read in, in the magazines or whatever, you know, Fresh Prince reunion. And I'm always like, what reunion? <laughs> it's not a reunion if you get together with your friends. <laughs> it's a reunion is if the network picks up the show and does another episode or we do a movie. That's a reunion, not us getting together and uh, having dinner and someone taking a picture and going, oh, look, it's a reunion. Um, but, uh, but no, we, I, you know, I, I, I spend time with with Will, uh, with Karen, with Tatiana, I see James Avery, 
uh, every once in a while. I, I was fortunate enough to actually direct um, uh, Daphne Maxwell Reed on an episode uh, of uh, Let's Stay Together, which is a show that I direct. Um, so I get to see people all the time, and it's wonderful to see them. All right. Thank you so much. You got it.